guys, it's a digging Monday, and Jeff and I are out here on this old unit. They're working on it right now. We had hit this house over here in the past. Jeff did real well over on this corner edge here. Found a large cent, or not a large cent, but a two center. Anyway, my first target here at this place is this some kind of charm thing or necklace. It's just a junk item, but still, first target. This yard got hit about three weeks ago by another individual, and I think he did pretty good. I hadn't found a coin yet, but we're still trying, so stay tuned. Jeff just gave me the Indian sign, so we're going to go see what the Indian is over here. Popped him an Indian out. This yard is far and few between on targets. I haven't found, but one, I just found a wheat penny, and I'll show you here in a second. That's my only penny find so far. I did get a dime. Let's check out his wheat. What's he got? House. He's rubbing it. Hunting right here is right next door to where I found the two cent piece and a barber quarter and a barber dime. Um, so, what you got, man? I'm tickled with it. It's an Indian head, so I'm gonna have to clean it up. Let me pick it real quick, and we'll see what it is. Mm. All right, guys. Jeff's Indian. It's an 1888. It's kind of beat up, but it's still Indian. Mm, that's a good find. Let's get some more. All right, guys, right down here along this tree root right here, I just popped out this weed head, and it's an older one. I believe it's a 1911. I cleaned it up better. It's an older one, though, down about five inches. Let's see if we can get something else. Hey, guys, I just popped this out of the hole. It was down about five inches or so down here at the bottom of this plug. And it looks like it's just a piece of junk. <laughs> Actually, I think it was meant to be a ring or something at one time, but I'll clean it up better later. So anyway, that that's a good that's a good find. All right, let's see if we can get some more. <laughs> hey guys, sticking in this spot right here, I just popped me a spoon out. It's been a while since I hit a spoon, and that one there is not real old. But still a spoon. Been lawnmower crushed, I think. And probably from the 40s. There's some writing on it there. Can't tell what it is. Alright, it's just stainless steel spoon, but we'll clean it up here in a little bit. Alright, let's see if we can get some more. Hey guys, it's afternoon now. And it's really heated up, but finally in the shade here. I hadn't dug much here at this spot, but it just got me this really cool bale seal. Check it out. It's got some writing on it. it. may have a name of the company on it, actually. I can't make it out yet. But it says 352 on it. That's a cool one there. Lead bale seal. Alright, that's my best find so far today. Let's see if we can get some more. Alright guys, we're at this old Victorian house now. Jeff just found a large scent. We haven't looked at it yet. Right down here in the hole, about five inches, I just got my first Indian of the day. Looks to be a 1905 Indian. Well, I'll take it. I'm my first one. So that's, I think just got four. That's my first one. That's five Indians. That's a good day. And he got a large scent. We'll check it out later. Alright. Alright guys, down about five inches there. Just popped this weed head out. It's not a real old one, but I'll take it. That's number three for me for the day. And let's see if we get some more. Hey gang, I just popped this out of the hole. It's only about three, four inches deep. And it's Roosevelt. Everything I've been getting so far has been real, real deep clad. I can't read the date on it, but maybe you can. That's my first silver in a couple hunts. 1963, I think. Alright, so I'll take it. We'll go on. 1243 on the CTX. Hey guys, Missouri Mike back again with another cleanup. And let's see what we get this trip. Had a great time. Boy, Jeff really did well. He got a large scent and a bunch of Indians. I happened to pull one Indian on this trip. And it was a 1905. 
It's in good shape though. I got a Rosy Dime 1963 D mint mark on that one. My coolest find I felt like was maybe this Bale Seal. That was nice. 352. Made out of lead. Got an old ring. Play Junker ring. I guess that's what it is. It's aluminum. Uh, got a couple wheats. 1930, 1940. And a 1912 wheat that was really toasty, but I scratched on enough I did get a date on it. And I got some clad. About eight clad pennies, three zinc pennies, five clad dimes, three clad nickels, three quarters, and I got this little pennant thing here. I got a spoon. Oops. And that was pretty much it. All oh, big piece of brass here, so. I had a great time. It was a great hunt. I'm glad you come along with me. And you know, as always, until next time, this is Mike, and I'm out.